Once upon a time, in a land, right here, um, a man told me, when I asked, what do you want to see on this Project Focus? The man said he wanted to see the whole enchilada. Well, here you go, mister. You guys are about to see a complete idiot paint the hood of a car. Thanks for clicking this video, and stay tuned. A man's only as good as his truck. Buy the new Dodge Rant. Show them how much of a man you are. I have champagne. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. This is your boy, Big Ben, here, bringing another video at you. Um, another video at you. This is the hood, okay, that I got from the junkyard for the Focus Project, the $500 Focus. And I'm going to show you how a lazy idiot like myself um, paints a hood of a car who's also cheap and doesn't want to spend a lot of money, okay? First thing I want to do here is remove those washer jets right there, okay? They're uh, held in on the other side. Um, oh, there's a stupid cloth panel in the way, okay? If you think if you think you've seen some shady paint jobs, wait till you see this. With the I'm I'm probably gonna leave this white on this side and black on this side. Holy cow! Got it flipped around. I'm gonna get my cat claw, okay, and get these uh, tabs off of here, one by one, and uh, that'll give me access to the jets. <clears throat> Sorry, I didn't mean to do that noise. Uh, well, maybe maybe I should put some paint on the back here just so it doesn't look that bad. I don't have enough of the uh, paint I'm going to use, but maybe just some rust reformer or something to not look so stupid. I'm not a sponsor of Duplicolor or anybody, actually, um, but uh, this stuff right here, the wheel paint, absolute, it works magic. These wheels here two years ago, they're dirty right now, but I just, um, just scuffed it with Scotch-Brite, wiped it with acetone and sprayed it. And um, I believe this is a clean portion here. Uh, yeah, I kind of put it in light right here, but it's still got some shine. That's no clear coat, no primer, nothing. Just the paint. So that's what I plan on doing here today. Okay, that's off, but I seem to have met, uh, made a little friend here. He is alive, too. Holy cow, that is a big, 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 big spooter. That's the uh, kind of spooter that you have nightmares about. The washer jets are fastened in, or excuse me, popped in with these two clips right here. I'm going to squeeze them with needle nose pliers and pop them out. Okay, the jets are out. Okay, you kind of see the outline right here of where that fabric panel covers. I am going to paint on the outside of that and cover the rest up, I believe. Plans could change, but right now I have a can and a half of rust reformer, and I don't want to waste the good stuff on this because I need to use it on a bumper. Got it sort of wiped down here a little bit, and I'm gonna scuff the paint up with some Scotch Brite and get something for the paint to stick to. Gonna kind of roughed up a little bit there with the Scotch Brite and wipe it down a little bit. I need to rub it down with some acetone too, even though this is just the back. I need to get some of this uh, oily grime off of here before I paint it, or it's not gonna stick. This is what you get when you live out in the country, away, f and the only thing near you is a dollar store. So, oh well. Okie dokie. All right, I've got acetone on here. I'm going to just wipe all this down and uh, get the uh, oiliness off of it. Something to stick to. Okay, let's wipe down. I think, it, uh, I think the paint's going to stick to that, the rust reformer. Should I not get it on that sticker there? I'll be careful around the sticker. Once again, this is just the back. I'm uh, going to be much more careful on the front here and use the better paint. Focus camera. <laughs> I'm going to go around the perimeter first and not get where the fabric's going to be in the middle there. Just because I'm low on paint, the rust reformer anyway, and I don't want to waste any of the good stuff once again on the back here. So, see what we can do with this can here. Looks like I'm painting the back of my Cub Cadet seat today. That's fine. Okay. Bye-bye sticker. It's about the end of can one there. I do have one more can of Rust Reformer. 
and then I'll move on to the good stuff on the other side of the hood. This is a nice moist day outside. Very good humidity levels for this. It's been raining. The uh, duplicolor paint doesn't run like that. Like bef before when I've used it, it uh, I intentionally sprayed a lot in one area and it would not run. It's such good paint and once again, I'm not sponsored. Okay, that can is shaking up here. I like to do several light coats um, whenever I paint something. Um, just kind of like that. Just evenly go across. <laughs> Not trying to win any uh, car shows with this. I've resorted to holding the nozzle. Once again, it's the back. No big deal. I wonder how uh, Mr. Spooter's doing in there. Don't hurt Spooter's people. Spooter's are people too. Okay. Okay, that, my man, is good enough for it being the back. Give that a few minutes to, ooh, a few minutes to dry. Okay. And, uh, well, I can't put the carpet back on here until uh, I'm done with the other side because I've got to put the jets through. But, uh, yeah, give it a few minutes. I'll sit it uh, over on the other side and get it on something to support it. Okay, well, that tacks up a little bit. It looks good from here. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and uh, get the Clutch Adaptive Learn going on this Focus. If you don't want to watch that, skip ahead about one, maybe two minutes. Here's the old Focus here. Uh, transmission's back together as of last night, okay? And uh, just now hook the battery up and getting ready to do the Adaptive Learn. Here it is, first time actually really sitting in it. <laughs> Got the uh, scan tool from work here, and hopefully I can uh, connect and get as-built data for the TCM. I'm on Wi-Fi. It's alive! That's not a good sign. Those are fuses. Ladies and gentlemen, it's working. It has the calibration downloaded. All focuses with sunroofs have a rattling headliner. Just FYI, every single one of them rattle. This must be a time machine. TCM programming complete. Clearing diagnostic trouble codes. I could listen to that chime all day. It's like torture to my ears. There's an on-demand trouble code for a private communication network concern. Eh, who cares? Let's relearn the clutch. All right, guys. Gear command for neutral state. If that times out right here, that means that your shift drum stops or might be broken. Just so you, woohoo! Just so you know. It's alive, it's breathing fire. Low T-ray pressure. No! Oh my friggin'. Dude, oh my god, I left the shop rag in the throttle body. I am such an idiot. It came right out with no problems, oh my goodness. Why do you guys even watch me? I'm clueless. <laughs> my goodness, I cannot believe I did that. My first thought was like, I've never seen a throttle body code on a Focus. The throttle bodies just don't fail on these. And then I remembered, oh my goodness, I put a shop rag in there. I bet that thing was running richer than Bill Gates. Okay, it's actually going through this time, getting ready to do the touch point learn. Everything feels normal for now. <laughs> what is a dipped beam bulb? Okay, I've got a little load on the alternator here. Hopefully that'll stabilize the idle a little bit. You know it's getting to be winter time when like just the air from the vents feel like AC without the AC running. Please work, please work, please work. Woohoo! Those clutch points, uh, those points are acceptable to me. They look good. That really makes a guy happy. You know what? I'm happy about that. I think the dip beam bulb co uh, faults are from the uh, bumper being missing, and there's like fog lights and other lights on it, so uh, obviously some there. I feel like I've seen this code here about 100,000 million bajillion times. It's okay, Focus, you're safe now. You've got an owner that really cares about you. What is wrong with me? I am a Focus fanatic. You can get them cheap with transmission issues. You can fix them fairly easily, okay? And after that, you've got yourself a reliable car. And some of these have some nice features. I've got leather wrap steering wheel, sunroof, I've got select shift. 
I wish I am happy about that. That's the first focus I've had with that. I'm gonna let the engine run a little bit. I do have some cleaner in the engine oil. I'll be changing the oil for you guys too here this weekend. Just let it sit here and run a while. All right, let's get this thing situated. I take back what I said about that motorcycle jack. It has proven to be useful now. It seems to be pretty versatile. I mean, look at this. I can move the hood around wherever I want. That's that's useful. <laughs> All right, got the focus still running over there, working that cleaner through the engine oil. Go ahead and get my Scotch Brite and scuff up the paint here. Get it ready. Uh, get something to stick to. Get the paint something to stick to. I'm sorry about repeating myself there, but uh, yeah, I'll scuff it up and talk to you in a second. All right, you guys, I've got all the necessary equipment here to do the job here, you know, just this and that. And, um, fast forward. Scotchbrite's actually doing a pretty good job scuffing this up here. I don't know if you can see that, but um, yeah. And once again, the purpose of that right there is to give the new paint something to stick to. And please don't... Uh, Take this as me trying to sell you on Duplicolor. I'm not sponsored or affiliated with them. It's just, I want to share the uh, paint with you guys because it's been like astonishing compared to other automotive paints I've used. So I'm going to keep um, getting the rest of the hood like this scuffed up and then I'm going to wipe it down with acetone and get going on the good stuff, the good paint. Whew, it's starting to smell like my body shop at work in here. <laughs> see where some of those smells come from now anyway sorry um okay so this is all scuffed down and prepped ready for acetone to get the fingerprints and grease off of there prepped for paint all right i've got the engine turned off on the focus now no leaks underneath no overheating so that's good it's getting dark out i need to i want to get this video finished and out today so um let me put an update or a I'm going to put a message out and let you know this is coming tonight. It might be late. It might be like 9 o'clock. Let's see. Yeah, these guys will believe that. Don't worry. Let's get, let's get to work here. I want to get this video up. Let there be light. Yeah, I've got the worst internet ever out here. It takes for a long time to upload videos. All right. She's all prepped. Wiped down with acetone here. How many cans of, of uh, paint do you think this will take? Write it down in the comments below. No, you don't have to. Here comes the rain again. Woohoo. Like an artist slaying his first brush strokes on a new painting. Oh, better. There we go. Purge it first. <laughs> okay. Man, this is just pouring rain. Anyway, the first coat is done here. I am doing light coats here. I want it to get on there nice and pretty like. <laughs> this is good stuff, but make sure you wear a mask. I am your father. All right, you guys, the second coat's done. And it's pouring down rain some more. <laughs> Here's the third coat. Fourth coat. Fourth coat. Fifth coat. Starting to look a little good here. What do you say we put another coat on? It's getting dark outside. All right, let me show you how I've been painting it. This is the sixth coat here, still. Purge the can. And just, uh, I'm just, oh no. Oh no. No! Oh. I just pulled it off and pretended like it didn't happen. I painted right over it. Anyway, this is what I've been doing here. Just going around, just holding it down, full throttle. All right, guys, what is that now, the sixth coat? Let's say that's good enough. Clear coat, what, what did you say? What, what is that word? I don't know what clear coat is, but um, let's, uh, let's just say we put clear coat on it and call it, all our, call it our little secret. Look at all them little speckles there. This is a backwoods 
paint job right here. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Here and there, like when the light's shining directly on it, you can see all the imperfections that were in the paint underneath it. But, um, you know, I didn't primer it. Whatever. If you're here in person, it looks a little different. It looks like you can tell that the paint's pretty decent quality. It almost looks like a factory finish right on top in person here. I know the camera doesn't do a great job on it here, but uh, it's like it's like new paint on top of crappy paint. <laughs> well, I mean, that's kind of what it is, but uh, yeah. The only reason you see these uh, speckles in here is because of the light shining on it here. Um, stay tuned for more videos if you're interested in how this turns out, because... Um, once this is on the car and out of this direct artificial light here, I think we'll be happy with that there. I know I will. I know I'll be. I'm sure of it. You know, if it needs another coat or a little touch up here and there, I've got uh, I've got some other cans that I want to save for the bumper <clears throat> that hasn't come in yet. All right, thank you so much for watching. One little angle here before you go. See the reflection in it. That's that's decent results. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Appreciate it very much. Hope you enjoy, and I'm here if you need any focus transmission help. If you're new to this channel here, I can help with your focus transmission. And, um, yeah, I can, make, uh, I can make some silly comments, too. <laughs> Have a great day. Thanks for watching.